Okay, let's ignore what's going on here. It's windy outside. Um, someone just commented on my video about the dating coach who had tried to prove my t statistics wrong and went about just proving himself wrong, which was spectacular. Um, anyway, he's removed the video but not admitted he was wrong. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, someone just commented on that video asking, shouldn't dating coaches like him be telling people about Claire's Law? And also this guy asked, yeah, how do we actually get that information? So I think that's a really great, great question. So do I think dating coaches should be telling people, educating people about Claire's Law? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's really, really clear from all the statistics you read around domestic homicide that before it gets to that point, people ha already have those offences. So the vast majority of people who murder their partners do have offences leading up to that for domestic violence. And that pattern repeats itself upon multiple partners. That's why Claire's Law is effective, because it recognises the pattern that exists in domestic abuse. Now, Claire's Law isn't something that's literally like a Google search that you do that will give you information about people. It is a process that you have to follow in collaboration with the police. The police won't give the information associated with a partner just to anybody. You have to prove that you have serious concerns and that you have a reason to access this information. It involves a face-to-face -face meeting with the police and it involves information being shared across agencies as well so that they can determine whether they believe this information should be given to somebody. The really important thing about Claire's Law, which I think a lot of people don't know, including myself, I didn't know until recently, is that friends and family can also request this information. It's not just a partner. This obviously is really, really useful in the world of online dating where we're meeting people and we're talking to them, but probably not getting to know them that well until we obviously meet them in real life. But how much do we really know about that person? Bear in mind here that the information stored by the police is only convictions. So it's not about allegations or arrests, it's only convictions. So it has to be, you know, someone who has committed an offence and has been convicted of that offence. But I would love to see dating coaches teaching the red flags of abusive relationships and helping couples spot those before it even gets to the point of needing this law.